Welcome back to Chatting and Thoughtfish. I'm joined with Mandela, Mansour, hey and Moses. What's going on, guys, during lockdown? Hope you're staying What's going locked. on? What's going on? Yeah. All right, then. Um, I ain't in front. We had a little technical difficulty and it didn't record the first part of a combo, but we're going to, we're still, we're still going to give you some gold. Um, so before <laughs> we figured that out, we were talking about, I mean, ev- what everything's going on right now with bloody. The Roni, the Roni's out there, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and is I mean, there's there's so many things around it. We're not going to talk about it explicitly, but what we're going to talk about is like we will basically have a conversation about how celebrities are conducting themselves um, during this time. And um, like recently, The Rock himself has like he said that he's not posting about being in the gym or anything because he's basically humbling himself in terms of how people are um, how people are also living in their own situations. Um, the question we want to ask each other is basically, we're asking each other is, do you feel that um, celebrities are, um, they need to conduct themselves in a certain way, or do you feel like they have no right to be preaching lockdown when they're living in like big fancy mansions and whatnot? And um, take it away. Yeah, so the main point that I was making was celebrities must never be penalized for having the opportunities or having the facilities that they've got. However, they need to be more sensitive to their audience. So therefore, if you're preaching stay at home, save lives, you don't need to be doing it while having a pool party with your kids. You don't need to be doing it in, you know, in a way that's um, showing off your flashy life. Because the whole point is you're just telling people that, look, you endorse this idea that we should be indoors to minimize the spread of disinfection. And you're just saying, you know, from a responsible adult, or a responsible person to another, stay home, save lives. Um, we have touched on uh, donations. So, for example, um, Pharrell Williams. Had, <laughs> yeah, for, you know, he 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 um, had created a donate page, and we were kind of saying, look, these donate pages, it doesn't make sense unless you're putting your your money where your mouth is. For example, like how Rihanna did, you know, she gave um, a certain amount of money to to Barbados, you know, in regards to 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 um, improving their situation uh, j- during, this, during this time about uh, COVID. So mm. at the end of the day, <clears throat> I couldn't agree with that more. I think celebrities need to sort of be like, if you're going to do, uh, I'm creating a donate page, then what you also need to be doing is, is letting the people know what you aim to do with the money that's raised. So for example, you say, okay, fine. If we raise 12 million, I'm going to also uh, plug in 12 million. And I was saying, um, being closely linked to charity, uh, charity sectors, um, what what we do know is that right now, uh, charities have had to approach the government and ask for help because it's actually regular people that give donations rather than it being the wealthier people. It's it's more of regular average Joes who are out and about on the road who give a one-off donation or actually give out of their salary or you know out of their wages, you know who engage with charitable um, uh, uh, events rather than um, but the, or, but or do charity, you think, charitable activity. But with rather things than, like that, I was going to say, but with things like rather that, rather than celebrity and, and, and more affluent people. But when they came coming out to say, oh, I'll give donations and do that, mm. what makes it less, um, less humbling is the fact that they know during this time, people are losing jobs, people are getting furloughed, people have less money coming in. So mm-hmm. it makes people angrier, the fact is like, how can you reach out for me for money when you're in your Beverly Hills mansion? And, you, and you're still living good. Like, yeah. like, how can you reach out for me when I'm literally just trying to make ends meet? Right? Once again, I think it would be unfair to not have... Sometimes people do not move until people that they aspire to be or who they're inspired by or who they admire say something or, 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 or push for something or whether it's Moses our disagrees. heartstrings Moses that are pulled. Moses I disagree. No, I, I disagree in this, this sense. Look at... Okay, Mandela, because look at... No, I think uh, generally I would agree with you, but Mm -hmm. I think one thing for me that is is very inconsistent, yeah, with Mm -hmm. all of this COVID stuff. I think people Mm -hmm. are 
underestimating what a pandemic actually is. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, when in your lifetime has the whole globe been shut down by one universal cause? Mm. You know, they thought Y2K bug was going to do it. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It didn't happen. You know, mm -hmm. they thought, the I don't know, 2012, they thought that was going to happen. Is it happened? You know what I mean? But when does anybody live through a pandemic? So my thing is like, in a pandemic, there's no rules, blood. I can't be looking to Pharrell or to David. No, no absolutely. Be like, what but, are you going to do? All we but, need to do is but, like, I need food. Mm. <laughs> food and shelter. I ain't looking to... But here's, the, but here's the thing. This is why I'm saying... I don't think it makes sense to ask people. You can't then expect, okay, we're not going to ask people to give. You must ask people to give. You must stir people's hearts. You must, you must push for people to do something, right? Um, because at the end of the day, the human spirit, like what is within us means that, you know, when we're talking about the basic necessities, we're no longer looking at wanting to have flesh things. We just want ourselves to have, you know, food, shelter, whatever, whatever. So asking to, you know, create provisions for those who are more vulnerable or who aren't in the position to is not a bad ask. What I think is wrong is um, for a footballer to request their 190,000 pound a week um, salary to come, you know, to, to come in while they're not on the pitch. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay. Well, they still need to I eat. Don't, yeah. I they don't agree. Eat. They still need to eat. Definitely no, they still it, need yeah. to. They still need to eat, but you do not need one hundred and ninety thousand pounds in the week. And actually, if this pandemic, if I'm used to living off one hundred ninety thousand pounds a week, I can't go down, mate. I need it to live. Well, it's going to have mm, to. That's true. To be well, a what you bit, earn uh, is no, you're going to have to learn to be is... a little more humble. So what I don't want to hear is celebrities talking about give, give, give when they are in a position to do a lot. So what I want to know is, hey guys, join me. I've given X, Y, Z towards blah, 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 blah. You know, join me, guys. And listen, people should give up until they can't. Are you talking about everybody or just celebrities? Everybody should do their bit. Give until you can't. And when you can't, I understand. But when you I'm say give until you, know, you can't. I'm not saying give your last. No way, Mantle, Mantle. Saying... Mantle got something to say, Mantle. Go on. You know what? I'm thinking about this shit. And there's actually, I, generally speaking, you guys know me. Anyway, you know that certain people just vex me anyway. Yeah. But, <laughs> but I'm actually thinking about it. Do you guys remember when the Queen gave a speech a few weeks ago? I there was quite it. a buzz around that. And people were saying, I didn't oh. want to. I did. Oh, you know, the Queen, she's got her... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can we talk? Wait, wait, wait. Can, wait, wait, no, wait. can we talk? Wait. Can I just mention real quick? I saw an article, yeah, that said the, um, that said the Queen is cancelling her birthday cannons for the first time in 68 years. And I'm like, yeah. why is that news? Yeah, and this is it. This actually goes back to my thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that. The thing is, like, the she's queen a person of interest. But the thing is, the thing is, she's a celebrity. In, no, her family is in the is they, going now ever entered, more into the sphere of in celebrity. celebrity. Mm. But the thing is, I actually don't have a problem. It's because these people have influence, and they have a, a, a type of an influence within popular culture that our politicians don't that our academics don't, that our researchers mm -hmm. don't. So mm -hmm. I actually don't mind them giving like advice and stuff like that. Um, I actually think there's a, there's, there's, there is a real positive there to that. I think, of mm -hmm. course, as we said in the previous session, you can do that in a neutral setting. You don't have to do it in front of your acre, your, you know, your field, your garden, which is like however many acres. But I actually think it's actually there's a positive there in the sense that they have span and influence that other people don't and that's a good thing in terms of them actually giving that message and i think the the, the crux of the matter is what we said before that it all depends on how you carry yourself how you conduct yourself absolutely um, you have to stay true to the statement you're giving so if you tell people absolutely. don't go outside you have to yeah. do the same now if your garden is however many acres it's still your garden. I actually think. Yeah, but don't take the, don't take the picture from your garden. No, you don't have to. You don't have yeah. to. But that's you're still being true to yourself because mm. you've earned what you've earned. And the truth is, we supposedly in this country love capitalism. Yeah, so we have mm. to appreciate that these people made it. Mm -hmm. okay. Or they great and like you can't hate them too great, much great, great because when. But did whoever, we not create them? No, did we not create them with some of their success? Like what? Um, Moses is saying, yeah. like, before we... Yeah, we lined their pockets. Because what we said before, Moses said before this, that um, he wants this to be the end of celebrity 
What, celebrity culture, basically? Celebrity yeah. worship, celebrity culture, influencer culture, all of this stuff is fake and nonsense. You get me? Like, why do it I is, need but to don't you some... think... Go on. But Mo, don't you think, like, not you now, but maybe you at 13, you would have been more likely to hear Pharrell Williams tell you not to go outside than you would uh, Tony Blair. No, maybe? Like, you would have been True. more likely to listen to that or more likely yeah, to Yeah, but then this was my point. This was... But, this was, on, the, on, this was the point on, that I Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I haven't finished. Yeah. But what you got a factor, when I was 13, there was no direct line between me and Pharrell. There was no Instagram. There was no social media. So the rules are different. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you would have heard it from have, Tony Blair. You would have heard it from Tony Blair. I would have heard it Regardless. from the news, which is fine. Do you get me? Like, or your mum when she gives you a I can now pre... But you know, I don't even. Huh? I said all your mum when she beats you before you try to go out. That's no, what you're no. <laughs> Never. But um, I'm not even trying to dwell on, dwell on Pharrell, but you touched on the mm. Queen, yeah? Yeah. Elizabeth herself, yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm. Which part of her money did she work for? Bro, I know. <laughs> I, I hear you. I hear you. Oh, and I'm not a monarchist. Blasted purse. And I'm not a monarchist. No, but I'm not a monarchist, and I'm not. I'm not even. To be honest, she works. She works. She works very hard. She works very, very hard. It's just that she. Wait, 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 wait. Mandela, are you you trolling or go on? Say say that again. Uh, Listen, (laughs) say it again. Say it again. Queen, I said she works very hard. Okay. Yeah. Can you elaborate? Can you elaborate? I will elaborate. Yeah. Um. She takes. I think. I think it's been said that she's on duty for like 330 something days or something like that. We don't even work that. Do you get what I mean? When do you However, mean by on duty? She's not, hold on. Yeah, for real. She, she, she's, she's working, right? My uh-huh. issue isn't with her. Like I, 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 want to be, I want to be fair and to say, it's not, that, it's not that I don't think that she does things or I don't think that, um, listen, she is part of a, a, a system that capitalizes on the poverty of others that capitalizes Colonizes. on the, op- op- you know, the <laughs> oppression of others. And, you know, she didn't ask to be part of that system, but hey, I didn't ask to be part of the system that I'm part of either. Wait, no, you can't get out of the system. So, look at Harry. Harry. No, but, um, look, at you, look at Harry. Look how, at many, Harry. how many no, you people... Can get out look, of look, 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 but I'll tell you something, right? You're not really going to find William doing what Harry's done, and that's because William is the direct line like once Charles gets, um, um, uh, 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 you know, uh, he becomes king, you know, that's if he lives enough. Do you know what I mean? If once he becomes king, the next king of England is going to be William, right? So what you need to understand is Harry will always enjoy the residual benefits of being a royal, even though he's part of the first generation that is going to become. Um, uh, 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 the actual kings, queens, whatever. Do you get what I mean? So it's easier for him to say, okay, fine, well, I'm still going to step down. And uh, guys, look, while I respect um, his move and all of that stuff, you need to understand that he's still been given money. Like he's been given a budget. Do you get what I'm saying? And then on top of that, they've now been told what, what is more that, that's to be made has Moses to be from your own Moses has disagreed with you. I think Moses has disagreed Yeah, Moses has been disagreeing with me. No, but he's raised to say something. He's raised to say said Moses has been disagreeing with me. Yeah, has, go on, yeah, you, go on, go on, you say your no, bit. He's, he's been, please. And then I'm going to. You, you can't say, you can't say, number one, right? I said, yeah, in regards to uh, Pharrell Williams and all of that stuff, I said, sometimes it takes influential people that will push for people, that will stir the hearts of people. You disagreed, you said that a pandemic is different. I'm just like, regardless, pandemic or not, do you get what I mean? Like, it, the people who stir us should say something and we should do the best that we can but not give our, our very last, right? Yeah, that was my first were. point. The second oh. thing, we said um, the royals, do you get what I mean? Like, we're, we're talking about the infrastructure that they've been, um, uh, 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 that's been forelaid for them. So really and truly, we can't, like, if we hate a system, we should hate the, the structure itself, but you can't sit there and then, you know, No, but you don't feel like, them. especially in a, in a time of a pandemic, like a pandemic, this mm. is the time where rather than I don't need your 15 minutes or your five minute speech. Absolutely. I need you to, I need, I need you, I need you to open your action. wallet. Yeah. Mm. This was I my point. To, like go lead, away, lead, lead, lead by example. Go mental, go mental. This was my point. There was a certain demographic that really mm. were hanging on the Queen's every word. And I think regardless of how I feel about the monarchy as a system, 
some people would have listened to her and we as a whole would have benefited from them Absolutely. from her saying you know you guys have to stay indoors xyz i mm-hmm. actually think and it's the same another demographic would listen to pharrell william and another demographic will listen, we'll to, listen to rihanna Kardashian, xyz mm-hmm. but when so I, this was my honest, point. I don't know i don't know if it's me or like the people just generally the people who you're surrounded by if the queen were to be like oh we have to stay home do you feel like that actually resonates with a lot of people with a lot of brits do you feel yeah. like it resonates? yeah yeah or do you feel yeah. like they feel like london do you feel so, like people aren't aren't disconnected from the real? The That's thing is, think outside I'm, of London. I'm some of the poorest people. Wait, Mo, what are you saying? I disagree with that, yeah. Mm-hmm. My point ultimately is, in as much as that might be influential, what is more influential is opening your blood clot purse. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? The Queen has so much land, has so much resources, mm-hmm. has so much things. Rather than going on TV and being like, it's a time where we... When's, when have we ever been we? And have you ever been to Buckingham Palace? Now were we. You know what I mean? You've been taking our yeah. tax dollars, keeping yourself heated all these years. You know what I mean? Rather than you go on TV and say this and potentially influence some people, why don't you just cut a check? I generally <laughs> you know do feel I mean? like I, do, I generally do feel check? like yeah, I, I see what most thing. I mean, we we do want the celebrities and that to actually start opening their birth rooms. And I think someone like I don't and we're no, but, no, but, no, but the thing is because you got but I feel like do you ever feel like the royals actually do actually say, you know what, here's our donation. We are like flapping. They always make statements. And I think that's no, what, no, I no. Think that's what we're sick of. You know what? You but know. To, to, sorry, just one more thing. Just to, no. it's not even so much the thing is, yeah. Manda mentioned it perfectly where he was talking about it's a whole system. So my thing is, in a pandemic, we still got nations in debt to this nation. We've still got so many embargoes. We've still got so many colonial things that are important. I mean, persecuting people. Yes, <laughs> That's absolutely. I'm like, if you really mm. wanted to do something, you could. I don't care. You'd if lift you're royal. that shit. You'd you lift that. You'd you don't cut care. that. You'd you scrap care. that. Yeah, no, you, but absolutely. you're still looking after your own at the end of the day. Mm. But you know what it is. You know what it is. If if some rich celebrity gives a huge donation to the NHS here. I think it's actually, it, it, it benefits people who, who are in direct need of what the NHS offers, but it mm-hmm. distracts from the systematic frailties in that system, right? Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. everybody says, and I, I'm also sympathetic to that point of view, that celebrities need to donate here and donate there. But mm-hmm. actually, do they need to? Because they all pay taxes and they pay high taxes. But, and my, mm-hmm. point is, my point is that in the times of trouble and in the times of need, people, mm-hmm. including myself, would say, why don't you donate something? Actually, mm-hmm. they pay a hell of a lot in taxes. Do they really need to donate something? No, 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 no. Remember, no. when... The, okay, then, then why do we have to donate something when we're also paying taxes? <laughs> the thing and is, we don't have to. We don't have to either, but this is the thing, that the point that I was making. When it comes to um, um, engaging with donating to charity, it tends to be the people from lower bracket incomes or people who aren't um, high up in celebrity status or people who are affluent in that way. It tends to be people who, look, the thing about donating is that you, you find common ground in a certain way. You see, you, you know, that person who comes onto the train, look, I, I can't stand it. I can't say that. I got ambushed by beggars the other day and I got so pissed off because I was just like, look, in a pandemic where um, certain, certain things have been put in place so that you are housed, you're still out here and it's three or four of you begging because it's like you're, you're trying to get that coin. Do you know what I mean? For real. Um, Amen. But the, but, the, but, but, but the truth of the matter is, right, the people who are on that train found a level of, of, of common ground with that person and saw that human you know, like be behind whatever the problems are behind whatever and is more willing to give their money. So actually, no, we ourselves, we don't have to give anything, but it's going to be most likely us who are going to give more over people who actually have three houses. Do you know what I mean? People who have extra incomes, people mm. who have, you know, multiple pools of, of income. It's going to be the people who are living on the bread line first. I don't so even um, when we're talking about things like... Um, when we're talking about like children in need, for example, right? It's majority of the nation. This, this country is not a rich country in the way that, you know, it likes to describe itself. A lot of people are manual workers or living on the breadline 
absolutely poor. But then Agreed, we make man. multiple Agreed. millions, multiple millions that we that we donate, and it's because you stirred the heart of the people who who are just quite simply not rich. Yeah, I told you, man. It's to, a country today, with today, make up you guys, you, you, you made a really good point. Today, people are singing about the NHS and glorifying the NHS, the same NHS that they were going to sell off. Do you know what I mean? And, and privatize. But actually, because a pandemic is indiscriminate to whom um, it affects, actually, now we can start talking about um, uh, 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 the NHS. If we're talking mm. about donating, because this thing is indiscriminate, whether you are wealthy or you are poor, you can get this thing. And actually, to be honest with you, it doesn't matter whether you've got more money or less money. You're you're most likely not going to not not going to survive if you've got underlying issues. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. Right. I think, yeah. The um, thing is, there's a huge sorry. There's a huge stream of hypocrisy within society because mm. the the last Labour leader that just resigned, when he came with a plan which actually was so there bad, to man. try and talk about how we actually fund the NHS properly, how we actually mm. deal with our poor people. The talk man, poverty mm-hmm. never left the man's lips. Talk and people it. castigated him as a communist and uh, like a socialist with a capital S. And I'm mm. saying like now, everybody wants a bit of socialism, even if they don't realize it. Business mm-hmm. owners are saying, where's my government to help me? <laughs> you want that help, that's socialism. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. this is my thing. like. We don't treat people who come with the serious solutions. We don't treat them seriously. We rubbish them and tarnish them. I'm not yeah. saying he's a godsend. I'm not saying I'd support him to the death because mm-hmm. I would support no man to the death. But what I'm saying is it's, we almost have, as a society and as a country, not us individually, but we mm-hmm. almost have ourselves to blame because we're mm-hmm. not receptive. Mm-hmm. Even if there's bullshit in what someone is saying, we're not receptive to the sensible, the sense within the nonsense. You see what I'm mm. saying? Mm. And he was coming with the happen. idea of proper funding. And instead, what have we got? We've got primary schools and secondary schools uh, uh, helping with the design of PPE. That eight-year-old. Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah. Design yeah, yeah, yeah. PPE. That's, yeah. But you want to tell me now you're the fifth largest economy in the world and you, you can do without the European Union. You must be mad. Mm. You must be mad. Don't you think about mm. it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's it's so it's so ridiculous. It's so contradictory. It's so mm. ah, I mean, like we said before, there's nowhere on earth, there's no other country on earth where a pensioner, a war veteran is walking on his feet, on his soles. He's mm. wearing down his shoes. Mm. <laughs> He's wearing down his shoes. <laughs> and you're praising him and you're not saying why is this man raising all this money? And why do we need it so desperately? Like, oh, it's just a God. nonsense. It's, it's a mad. nonsense. It's mad. Yeah. Ah, uh, I don't. Yeah. I don't. Anyway, I don't we, it, celebrity, celebrity endorsement. I suppose. It, I don't think anybody needs to. I don't think anybody needs to endorse a pandemic because it affects everybody. But I still wouldn't uh, necessarily say that. Let's not. Um, have some of these people, you know, d- d- drum up. Do you know what I mean? Uh, 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 the energy and, and and get more money for uh, to to be spread around. It's funny how governments now seem to be like we're now releasing twenty seven billion. To- where was this money? The magic money. This is it. This is it. Well, where and- where where was this money all along? Like it just happened to just pop out of a secret pot. Like I'm saying, yeah. we can't be focusing on what celebrities are saying or what this person's doing. Or, and no, I'm not saying that, you know, um, uh, uh, they should um, be, be like, I'm not saying that they shouldn't be uh, penalized if they contravene, you know, like lockdown or whatever. And also nobody wants to be seeing you guys doing things from your pools and all of this stuff. Like it's, it's very insensitive and all of that stuff. But mm. all of that aside, like, I just feel like the government has become the celebrity in this pinnacle moment in time. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And we're literally watching 24-7. And while they seem to be in our face, we see nothing and we know nothing. Where did the 27 billion come from? Can, can I mm-hmm. ask you a slightly different question on this as well? I agree with mm. you. Like, because mm. Andrew asked me this as well before we recorded. He was like, why don't you do like a live concert? And for me personally, I just feel like social media right now is so... I think it's so delicate because I'm just like, what am I going on there to do? And okay, to so I'm, 
I, I guess I'm putting yeah. next topic is social media as well. So you yeah, go on. Okay. Wait. No, no, what are you saying? No, what are you saying? No. So you my thing is like for me, I feel social media even before COVID nineteen was such a like I just had such a love hate relationship because there's times I'll go on and I'll really get some sort of edification from something, content, whatever. But the majority of the time, for me, it was just a bit nonsense. You get me? I'm like, here's somebody projecting something that ain't real. Here's somebody trying to sell something that ain't real. Yeah. So a lot of it was like, I just felt it was like such a fake world. And I'm not saying there weren't real people and there's good things on there. So my question, like, even amongst all of this, what do you, are you using social media? And what do you, what do you like to see on it in a time like this, basically? Yeah. Well, well, this is the thing because um, that actually does lead me into the next thing I want to talk about in terms of how I feel like this is actually a time where people are just tuning into social media because I mean, like, I don't feel like there has to be a lot of good content out there. <clears throat> like, mm. a good example of this is the Tory Lane thing. Yeah. Like, I don't think that is exciting content. I don't think that is that is original content. I think it's just literally just live world style hip hop. Mm. But people are tuning into it like mad because that is what's there. That's what's talking about. Like I don't, I don't feel like you have to do much as a celebrity to just go on live now. And mm. but then it. arguably, mm -hmm. where is it now? It had like a week shelf life. But this is one thing. I, I, think people, <laughs> no, I think I think people are still tuning in. I don't know, but I think people are still tuning in. But why are they tuning in? Because they got you, they're bored. Do you think there's a difference between different types of social media? Because like, I don't really use Instagram much. Like, Instagram is just a nonsense for me. But like, other social media, I see the content is vastly different. I'm not gonna lie to you. My my um, I my I have a vendetta. I don't know personally. I hate TikTok. I hate TikTok. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I TikTok, hate TikTok bro. with a passion. But we—it's not for us, bro. We're too. No, I know, I know. You're what you're gonna tell me? You're gonna tell me I don't understand it? No, 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 no. no, no. no it's just not for us. <laughs> no, 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 no. It, it, okay, okay. Let me tell you why I hate TikTok. Yeah, two key reasons. None of it's original content. Yeah. It's all. It's all. It's all stolen content. Take it for young people to act act a fool on other people's things. <laughs> I still don't understand how old you sound right now. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> but think about no, but think about this. What is so funny about you dancing to a song that everybody knows? Why are you dancing to it for the two hundredth time? If Andrew, why am I jumping on that? You know that Tiger song from board in the house. You know that Tiger Andrew, song board in the house. Fam, fam, fam. Listen, no, old. listen to me. Listen to me. Man, no, board, no, listen to that song board in the house. You know that song board in the house. Yeah, board in the house. Keep, board in the in the house. Yeah, board. That everyone keeps running TikToks on. Yeah. Yeah, why I mean, why would I do the TikTok next when already um, 10 million people have done it? But what makes my for phone... certain like certain, all the certain things certain we've done. No, but it's stupid. And the thing is another one I saw yeah was someone because was all the things we had in our time. No, 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 no. But we've had no, the but certain Italian. music has we had the Harlem certain shape. music has benefited. We, we no, had, but I'm saying no, I'm we, saying but one thing is happy so, slap. Like I'm sure kids now will be looking at what were you doing in the happy slap area? Like how was that a thing? No, but how I, were no, we entertaining ourselves back then? We're doing foolishness too, man. Hey, yeah, no, no, I'm not yourself. I never happy slapped anybody. Neither did I, but did you not have the videos on your phone though? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. On, on the Nokia like, Tedro. On the Nokia Tedro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but, no, what I'm saying is no, but I'm just saying, like, for instance, like there was one where it's like you you lip sync over over TV shows, funny like funny TV shows. Yeah. So like you take a clip from a TV show that's funny. Yeah, from like Friends and, or something. Yeah, and or, like, you mimic it. Or like I'm Will sorry, Smith's bro, that's one. That's not your original when... content. That's not your content, fam. Yeah. Why are you putting that out there? Like that's you. You're not funny. They were funny, and it just annoyed yeah. me that this is a thing. Maybe maybe you should make a TikTok relaying this message. I hate TikTok with a passion. I really hate it. I, you'd, be, I think you'd be going. I don't hate. You'd be going into the heart of it. Arguably, though, I think as much as I'm not into it potentially, I don't know, because I don't use it too tough. In some ways, you could argue and say maybe... Too it's tough, you have it? No, I don't have it. Like, I don't, my little sister, my younger sister's always... Yeah, okay, yeah. And I'm like, I don't use it. Like, I, I agree with you. I'm not into the... the it's like... Would, it's you so do a TikTok? Would you do a TikTok? Nah. To be honest, I've seen some incredible ones. Like, you know when somebody does, like, the mad camera angles and it's just like, how did you even do... Like, there are some really creative TikTokers. But I think the issue with TikTok is very... 
even they've said it, you know, they, they only really push the sort of beautiful and non-black people to the, to the top of the algorithm. So it's like, you don't really, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, you it's remember, do you remember that one yeah. where that black girl did the dance and uh, yep. that, that woman got famous off it? I can't remember. And that. went to I'm Ellen, like, went on Ellen show with the yeah, other Yeah, and it wasn't her dance. dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, that is where okay. I, I didn't know she was on TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, I any it's... any young person, any any celebrity that under twenty now have been their famous is called a TikTok right now. That's yeah, what that's what yeah, it is. Yeah. But my thing, Andrew, I think it would be quite interesting for people that do create content because I think TikTok more than any other platform, maybe bar YouTube, like say for example, you're Meg the Stallion or you're I'm bored in a house and that's your song and it's blown. Like or don't rush like um, young Bugsy and young T and Bugsy, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. or mm-hmm. if, for example, say you wrote a screenplay for that friends and they've made that video your thing, it's going to be quite interesting how the people who actually the content well, is adapted. Cool. No, get paid royalties. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? I'm like, it'll be quite interesting to see, like, because clearly the TikTokers can't own anything because it's like, well, yeah. what have you done? You've used then- my content. <laughs> So but it'd then be interesting brings, to see how the money moves because I know it is happening. But you know then this I mean? brings me back to what um, you were saying in terms of like, do you actually go, think, go and have a go and have a sniff? Like, <laughs> I was gonna say, do you? I don't know what. You know, I'm putting that. I'm putting that in by the way. I'm putting that in. But what I'm gonna, no, I'm sorry. You guys but are what, trash. I'm never gonna lie. <laughs> but what I'm gonna say, yeah, what I'm gonna say on a point like you said earlier, like if with the rise of like things like TikTok and. I think like, do you, I think this is having an adverse effect in terms of you, you thinking this is going to be the end of celebrity culture. I think this is just the beginning, to be honest. Because no, I'm not saying it's going to be the end. I hope it's the end. I don't no, know I feel like the thing, though, I feel like we're going to a point where it's, it's increasing and the thing, we're more likely to have people that are just viral stars like becoming legit like oh yeah they're celebrities we're gonna get more that's 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 not new bro that's been happening but i saw some like like, lockdown is gonna increase the numbers there was this one girl she got really praised for her tiktok and it was like talking about the uyghurs in china um and the concentration camps and stuff so some people do their i don't know i don't really use tiktok or know really that much about oh my gosh people use it guys to be honest Let the generation who use it use it and enjoy it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. No, my, no. my initial question, though, Mandela. Mm-hmm. My initial question was: in what's going on now, on mm-hmm. have how you view social media change, and if so, what are you looking for on it? And if if you're not, why not? Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, like, so hundred um, percent. In a scenario where we're looking, we're talking about lockdown. I'm just yeah. going to give you some of the. Uh, things that were being said has gone up so for example um at the beginning of lockdown most people went out to go and buy uh, a a flower yeah Mm -hmm. those are one of the first things to sell out and yeast and now actually um home cook shows um internet uh chefs and all of that stuff like they've had a huge insurgence of 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 followers Mm. people have um, been downloading BBC were talking about just how many people like it was millions of people that downloaded um, how to make bread recipe do, do you get what I mean so mm. I think in this kind of scenario when people go online they want to see what they can do with their hands they want to see what they can do that will give them uh, either sustenance or do you know what I mean a lot of people are going to come out of here knowing how to knit how to sew how to mm. build um, I've, I've been be online friends. and I've been seeing some of uh, my own like online community, like building benches, creating things for those who've got the facilities to start doing pottery. Like, so I feel like those are the things that people are going to start looking for, including the celebrities and stuff like that. So mm. even some of, um, some of the things that will become fashionable to do will be some of the um, hobbies that people just haven't been doing really. I think people are going to start picking up hobbies that, can be done in the confines of your own home. So like that kind of thing, you know. So is that what um, you're looking for? Is that what you're actively consuming on social media or? So to, to be honest, I've been consuming all things food related on, okay. on social media predominantly. Do you know what I mean? Minus the memes I send. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the Do DMs. you think though, like you know I mean? there's, a, there's a thing here though, because like, so your all our social networks in terms of the connections we've made on social media have been formed pre-COVID. So we already have those networks in place. So does 
it's not so much what we indulge in that's changed. Maybe unless the, the people within our network, unless they create content, yeah, but then they're gonna, somehow changes. Their content, their content is going to have to change. So, for example, people who yeah. um, follow the skiing community, come on. Not, it's, yeah. they're, in the, they're in their yard. So we're no longer going to be seeing them skiing. Or, but what mm. you might find is maybe if they've got like a little garden or a little porch, maybe they're practicing tricks. Do you know what I mean? Everything's mm. going to start coming back from the outside world into the, into the home, I feel like. And that's what we're going mm. to be consuming, you know? That's, so this why, is why, that's said, why TikTok's popping, because people mm. do stuff, random rubbish in their house. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, so I've, got, I've got nieces and stuff that are on TikTok and they love yeah. it to death. And to be honest with you, I am an advocate for TikTok for this one reason when my nephew sat there playing call of duty he's just sat there getting fat yeah Mm. doing nothing but just getting fat playing call of duty right but with tiktok they're getting up they're doing dances they're being active they're being proactive so do you know what whether it's someone else's content or not it must have been cleared in the first place (laughs) that's 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 fine but like you know if if we're looking at the effects um of it do you know what i mean to the children like i i really don't like uh children consuming negative uh what you call it negative uh social media and so you know why i'm a big advocate of original content that what, yeah that's fine i think that's Andrew, what please, i think so as known as shush i think that's what, <laughs> i think that's what i think that's what great for me the most is like when when things are profited or benefit from things that are not original content recycled content is something that i just find lazy and i feel like we're in a place where people just do things that are really successful and they and they and they and they grasp it and it's like and it's like fair, fair play to you if you if you you've done it you played the game but it's just it frustrates me that we consume this content that isn't original and we act like it's yeah. new. We say, oh, I look so what, we're, what we're, frustrated, we're, what, oh, we're not creating original content. It's driving me mad. What, what frustrated me um, was, was it Vine? Vine? It was like 10 this seconds. Is Vine. Yeah. This is Vine. Oh, Vine was better. Oh, my God. Like, so Vine I had was just... With, yeah. I, had so an, I had an issue Vine. with Vine. I had an issue with Vine. Oh, I was Vine. just like, no, because do you know what? Like, I've actually, why, to why? be honest, this is... This is an admission. I've got a little bit of, I, I enjoy a rubbish um, TV. Like, do you know what I mean? Like after a stressful day or whatever, like, and I, and I, and I don't want to consume well, information like from the news or whatever. Mm-mm. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> Not that far, yeah? No, no, no. That's too far. So I go on Instagram. I look at memes and I predominantly bombard people like Moses and my cousin or whatever. Like their inboxes mm. with bullshit. Do you know what I mean? Like I it's that's habitual. Fine, that's fine. It's habitual. Yeah. But this is what I'm saying. No, no, no. But like, but like, it encourages. It, it like Vine. Literally, that's all it is. At least with Instagram, it's, some of them are stills, some of them are videos, and in between the rubbish that I that I follow is the important things that I follow. So like, I, do you know what I mean? There's breaks with Vine. It's just nonstop bullshit. Do you know what I mean? No, but no, but Vine was no, but I'm not. No, Vine was original content. Like whatever people made from that was uh, like an original joker. Like DC Young Fly, for instance. He, yeah. Like he was just doing a quick, funny sketch in six seconds. That's original. I'm saying TikTok. If I am flossing to board in the house, what part of that is original? Mm, mm. Yeah, but you're a creative. That's though. the issue. That is huh? the issue. You are a creative. You I was are about a to say. I was about to say. I think this is coming from a creative. As am I. Right. Somebody. But who, is somebody... is that is that a problem though? Because mm. is that a but, problem? I don't necessarily see uh, that as a problem. M- because if, if the creatives aren't there to critique it, how yeah. does any progress come? Which might even be a new mm. social media platform, no, which so does exactly the same thing as TikTok. Here's, Do you see what I mean? Here's the, here's, here's the thing. Mm. So if Moses if Moses has a song that uh, blows up on TikTok. It doesn't do down Moses, given where he is with his platform right now. Oh, I'm not saying but, it would be. But no, 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 no. Thing. But I, I, I think where I can understand what you're saying. Let's say you don't have a screen play that is all the way out there, out there. But let's say there's a line that you've said, and then some kid has seen it on social media or whatever, and then now it's just being banged up. No, then this one there's, thing, no. there's 
but then you're not referenced at the end. Is that the issue? Because no, for me, no, it's, no, it's, no, no, no. I think no, but what I'm saying is, like, for instance, if like Moses was, if Moses had an original song that he made here, yeah, and then a kid was doing air drums to his song, and the kid blows up more than Moses, I'm like, that yeah. ain't your content, bro. That was Moses' content. No, but, but in that man. instance, in that Andrew, instance, Moses smart, needs bro. to be referenced. Moses needs to be referenced. If Moses isn't being referenced, then actually now, you know what I mean? We, there's other things to play, but I think it does better for Moses's image. So it doesn't do any better no. for my image for somebody to play a video clip of me cooking, speaking over it as if it's them, and then presenting my yeah. end, end play. It doesn't do anything for me. But somebody doing that to Moses's song does better for Moses. Do you get what yeah. I mean? I mean, I don't know. I'm not bothered. Like, I get Andrew's point. Like, no, I wouldn't be bothered. Not, don't ever fucking play with my shit. It's no, nah, no, nah, because the thing is, no, like, no, no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't go into. No, I did not. I did not. I did not. You can't do anything about it. What can you do about it? Well, it depends. This is why we need to but, understand what the content that is on um, things like TikTok. No, but what are you going to watch TikTok, all the videos? Have TikTok? <laughs> no, 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 no. But then, do people watch? Thing here, do people do people watch all of YouTube? Remember, there were the same issues that were happening, copyright issues that were happening with YouTube. And let's not but, forget, but, like but, the more advanced we become of technology, you've got people who have managers who've got certain technologies guys, that pick up on that pick up on their. This is what I said at the beginning. This is exactly mm-hmm. what I said at the beginning. If you made the content, you're fine. Do you get me? If they've done a video on Andrew's screenplay, he wrote. All you've got to do is sit there and watch the money come in. If they did it on my song, whether I blew up or not, I own the song. This is what I'm saying. I think the bigger issues I have with TikTok is that you can't yet trademark dances. You've got a lot of black people creating these dances. That is the creative part. And it's getting Mm -hmm. colonized and gentrified by other people around the world going on this to Ellen. Yeah. That is the issue this I have. Is there. I, I, I like mm-hmm. and this is yeah. The music and kind of the videos it's a bit we've got a lot more protection, Andrew. Like because I've made my song. If you use my song, I'm just gonna sit back and let the money come in. Whatever. If it mm-hmm. blows whether I like it or not, I'm getting paid. Whereas the thing if you're is, the person though, yeah. that made up this dance. No, but then this is what this is what I'm saying. Like you know what I'm saying? as long as long as yeah, you yeah. get your royalties, then there's no Problem, yeah. but I think yeah. the dancers are generally it's a bit it's a bit of a murky ground. Because that way, I feel like, about anybody can pick up the dance, and then um, whoever gets basically whoever 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 gets viral from that could be random. It doesn't mean yeah. Yeah. what counts. What counts as royalties? Like what we're talking about here is if two people who are who we haven't assigned them a gender, race, class, or any other socio demographic profile, but yeah. really the reality is a lot different. So it's like mm. Moses might not, know, I'm not talking for, for Moses, but it's never the case that it's just some random kid using Moses' tune and then that kid blows up and Moses is just this background guy. There's always mm. an element of hierarchy and power and, 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 and power within any type of dynamic, right? Mm. Mm. So I don't think the problem is whether Moses gets royalties or not. It's does the system actually promote a hierarchy that maybe is wider on a societal level? Surely it's that. I mean, yeah. You see what I mean? The, 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 uh, those are my issues with TikTok. Like, I don't use it. It's not for me, but whatever. But I think the problems I see, it's very, it's very whitewashed. It's very... Yeah. It goes for a particular yeah. aesthetic and boosts those, those... The stars that you always see go viral on TikTok all look a certain way. Come from a certain yeah, they look like Disney. Know. They look like Disney. Yeah, it's never the actual people who made the content. Yeah. And I'm mm. talking when I'm talking yeah. content now. I'm more talking about the dances or maybe mm. a challenge or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not yeah. necessarily talking about music or whether they've done a film or recording something. I'm talking more about the people that create these dances that go viral. And then it's just yeah. like Tutu's now they're on Ellen and nobody knows like. Who Tanique originally did Atlanta it. actually created the dance because yeah. dancing yeah. doesn't have the same protection as like um, music and uh, writing and you know it hasn't got the same intellectual properties as far as I know. Yeah, I mean, those are my issues with TikTok. But as a writer, brother, I'm like, yeah, do what you gotta do, bro. Let me <laughs> let me collect my coin. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Okay, yeah. More yeah. so yeah. than any other By all means make money out of this so yeah. that I can I too can eat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 And I guess that even goes back to differences between different types of social media, right? Like, 
Yeah. Twitter mm, has mm. its own conversation talking points around it, which would be totally different from TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And likewise, Instagram, which has had enough talking points surrounding it over the years. That, yeah. that I think there's so there's there's um there's almost too much of a variation in terms of what this what can be included within this topic that True. the term social media actually doesn't do justice to that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you know? Yeah. I don't know if that makes mm-hmm. any sense at all. But I think yeah. that's why like, I asked the question: What are you personally like? If you are engaging with any of them, what are the things you're seeking out during this? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah like, I, think, I think like um like for example i guess there's like a you guys might correct me if i'm wrong but there's almost like a continuum in terms of creativeness right so like mm. you've got your tiktok and then maybe your instagram and then you've got like a twitter which i don't really see as for creatives it's more like just new circulation and debate and mm. and, and, and and nonsense tweets maybe do you see mm. what i mean whereas for example, TikTok and Instagram are a lot more visual. Yeah. And so, you know, there, there's there's more to embrace there in terms of the creative element. Uh, this is, I'm thinking off the top of my head. Like, no, I agree, I agree, I agree. Maybe, yeah. generally, like, yeah, you're right. Yeah, so I think like what, maybe what, the, what content, is going on? the content is more flexible uh, and adaptable in Corona times, for example, with an Instagram or a TikTok than maybe a Twitter. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because there's more of a malleability. You disagree? Yeah, because I, I mean, my main two, uh, to be honest, nowadays I'm using more Twitter than Instagram. Mm. Um, Is that for news or for your own personal kind of both. promotion? Both. Not well. Like I use it for no, both. No, no. Yeah. No, I don't. I haven't really been promoting anything on. Mm. Anything. But in terms of what I'm actually consuming for my own benefit, you yeah. call it, I'm using more Twitter to be honest, and very little Instagram, because I feel like... So what do you use for Twitter, Moses? Um, for Twitter, I think I get more real news than I actually do the news. Like, anything... And it's, on, it's on a very macro level, like maybe mm-hmm. kids in my community, but if I want to find out something, I'll kind of see what the vibe is on Twitter and see kind of the truth, whether it's like the labour racism scandal or whether it's like actual people you know covid and how it's affecting people's family in my area or something or you know just on a very small level i kind of find more truth in twitter than i do anywhere else you get me Mm -hmm. yeah do you think it's because twitter offers the opportunity for a balance in terms of viewpoints whereas when you consume one news source you just you just get that you know what i mean definitely so that's why i think i'm not really posting i'm more consuming on twitter and mm. there's a lot more nuance to debates and you know i think twitter flows a lot more it's like an open therapy session that can have a debate at the same time and i just yeah want, well, i'm not gonna lie i do think i think in this time though i feel like during lockdown instagram is where it, it because you feel more engaged with you can i think you can engage more with like the live stories and and i disagree man i think it's twitter I feel like it's, I feel I feel, I feel like you know, uh, you know I feel like you're more inclined to be able to say oh I'm with this person that's live right now I can, I can have a concert in my house I'm it's more it's a more of a live engagement than someone tweeting but, I'm just, but you're talking this is from a purely creative. visual yeah I'm, yeah this is purely you're visual I'm yeah, saying as it's visual it kind of I, yeah. that's why I think it's more engaging especially at a time when you're stuck in your house and you want to change your feed you want to see things. But, but not really though like if you look at some of these twisted debates they are incredibly entertaining either because they're funny or because they're purely intriguing yeah and like for me that is i've got i've 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 literally got a dark all right yeah yeah all right but later man man, stay safe we'll talk again yeah always yeah Yeah. go on yeah like what was I saying? You were saying Yeah, that. like for me, like that is completely intriguing, fascinating, funny, sometimes pure sad. But I find that much more stimulating than Twitter. Like Twitter, um, than uh, Instagram, sorry. Mm-hmm. Like Instagram, I think it's sort of, it's just a bit more samey, samey. And the visuality of it takes away from maybe a substantive side of things. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm, I agree. Mm. You can't really have discourse on Instagram in my 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Or, or, or be unless innovative. you do it live, or yeah, you know, it's, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. Definitely. yeah, I hear you. Um, on that note, though, um, like just before we go, um, did you guys see the Teddy Riley versus Babyface thing? I missed it, but you know what? Here's what's funny. I caught up on it on Twitter <laughs> 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 because okay. they deleted the live in it, so you couldn't watch it back. But I found yeah. out everything via Twitter, which yeah. I can't do on uh, Instagram. Like, yeah. I'm oh, a, did you I'm, watch it? I, no, well, I found I found somewhere like someone posted on YouTube like the actual live where like I'll oh, so send it if you got it, bro. I want to watch it like real Teddy, time. Like yeah. I got twenty five minutes of it and like there's no audio. Like Teddy is like I don't know why he weren't prepared. I, I don't know if he, he was prepared. Or the, I don't know if the sound guy fault, but it was very awkward. I don't know why they didn't lock off the live. Yeah, that's another thing for me. I would have locked off the live, bro. I've been like, <laughs> we're gonna come back. You but, know what makes me laugh about that whole baby face Teddy, right? Like. He just done too much from the beginning. Not even from the live, from the very beginning. Yeah, because from when it got like suggested, it was like, yeah, yeah, we're going to do it here. And then two twos, it was like, no, we're going to move it to Tidal and you're going to have to pay. And I'm like, (laughs) Wait, you're going to charge? Yeah, at one point they were. And then people were like, you guys are just complicating a clash. Like, yeah, you're Teddy Riley, babyface. So we probably would pay to see that. But still, yeah. come on, guys. Like, we're all... In this Not at this together. time. We're in this together. Yeah. And then one of them got sick. Fair enough. You know, people get sick, so they had to postpone it. And then when he came back, he's come back with, like, a full drum set, a TV studio, the keyboard. It's like, bruv. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll send you the link. I'll send you the link. All you had to do is sit in front of your phone and play songs. You know what I mean? And I was just like, man. It's yeah. funny. It's funny. It was like, and then like he was just there was there were long pauses of nothing, and he just like looking, and it's just like, and babyface is just kind of like sitting there. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> like uh, two uncles. Yeah, <laughs> it is, it's an awkward experience. I mean, he had a hype man, didn't he? As well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. Like, I found out about it by Twitter because I just saw all the memes of like. You know the one where he's standing like this, like looking at the camera, like yeah, what's yeah, going yeah. on? Like, and I was like, okay, hey, let me find out what happened. But I couldn't do that on Insta in the same way. And yeah, that's yeah. why I no, find no, like. To be honest, on Instagram, it's, it's gone. They've taken yeah, it down. You, you don't post about, you wouldn't post that on your, your wall or like nah, you wouldn't post nah, it on nah, your nah, page. Nah, nah, but nah, on nah, Twitter, nah. like I think you're right. You, to be honest, like could the feed comes and it goes. So yeah. I'm more inclined to say something there and there on the spot on Twitter than post there yeah. and then on the spot on Instagram because it feels yeah, like yeah. more of a solid, a yeah. solid thing that's going to stay. Yeah, I hear what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Tweet, I yeah. think tweets kind of fade quickly, which is why the, the churn is quicker. Mm. Yeah. But I, I, I don't know. But they're going to, they, they said they're going to reschedule. So, I mean, but this is what I'm saying. It's like, it's already been too hyped. We've already like <laughs> gone through the motions of like, yeah, they're going to do it. Oh, it's cancelled. Yeah. Oh, they're going to do it. Oh, it's cancelled. Oh, they did it. They actually got it and they couldn't work out how to use Instagram like two old men. <laughs> and then now, like, it's like, can we even be excited anymore? Do you know what I mean? No, it's yeah, fun. I know. It's going to be a bit of a It's going to be a bit of a, it's gonna be a, bit of a dud. But still, but they're still legends, though, man. No, no, definitely. Definitely. They're still yeah. legends, but... We all want to see it. You want it, you want it better. It. You want it better. Yeah. <laughs> they just showed their uncleness, like, quick. It was well, no, like, not so much baby face, but no. actually, you know, Kind of baby face. Like, did you see the comments where he was like, "Teddy, I'm calling you. I'm t- Teddy, can you hit like?" <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like you know when your mum or dad uses the phone. And yeah, they, and, they, and, they, and they've got the camera right to their <laughs> face. And yeah, this is it, man. Like I was That's just seeing these tweets about audio problems and it was, and it stuff was, like this. So it was a mess, man. Like they need to bring in someone the young guns to help them all time. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, yeah, but um. Yeah, so I think we can leave it at that, guys. Um, thanks cool, for joining, man. guys. We'll, we'll definitely have to do this again. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely, man. Send, you, yeah, you've yeah. got the knack of it now, so it's like the next yeah. time will be easier. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we missed us. Huh? Can I ask you a question before we lock off? Yeah, go on. What's your predictions? Oh, what? In terms of us being free or not? That and also what's life like after? And it could be on anything. It could be on the economy. It could be on socialising. I'm just curious to see like what you man think. Yeah, okay, like a quick, a quick minute. Yeah, just um, a quick take. one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, let me let me have a think of that. Mansoor, you go first. Let me think real quick. I think like next month mm. we'll see an easing, um, but we won't go. We won't. We won't 
ever be normal again really i think like certain behaviors will change drastically and stay like that mm. um but i say next month we ease up and i think my big prediction is that really you see a big um geopolitical gap in terms of who is the dominant but also respected global player like it's not america anymore do you know what i mean Okay. That's my prediction, yeah. Um, Especially if Trump wins, because yeah. like he's yeah. set that precedent up now completely. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, me, I think. Oh, yeah, okay. We're gonna run out of time. Um, we've got ten minutes anyway. But um, okay. So for me, I think it's. Um, I think we're we're gonna get an ease up, but I think maybe coming to summer they're gonna start easing things up. Like just with sport and that, they're gonna start playing behind closed grounds and things like that. And I don't think we're gonna see a boost in the economy until next year or maybe 2022. Like yeah, something I, like that. Twenty twenty. I would like to think that we're able we could be able to open our pockets the second we're free. Like I do see a lot of boom coming to some places um, when like they free where, us. For example. Yeah. Like, because I think people they do want to they do want to break they do want to spend and I think but it's not going to be till like twenty twenty um two thousand twenty two till we're going to be able to see any kind of normality properly. But I, what I do want to see in the future is people really actually being more conscious and more aware of actually respecting my personal space, being cleaner. Like let's let's not just make this because of COVID. Let let let's 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 continue this practice and then we won't have to be in this situation again. That's what I, that's what I that's what I want to hope. That's my that's my bit that I want. But that's 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 the big term. We don't know how these nasty people are. But yeah, it's going to take a brave man to actually make the first handshake. Yeah, it's going to yeah. take a brave man. Yeah, yeah. and I, and I hope they get rid of that for interviews and that. Like no more, no like let's get rid of the handshake because that's 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 for a real. dated that's a dated thing. That, but Moses, you want to uh, like, um, find out on this one? What you, what do you think, man? Um, yeah, I kind of agree with you. I think we're going to have like. I think sadly it's going to all be ruled by finance because this government have shown their ass enough that they value the economy over lives. So I think they're going to try and let industry start as soon as they possibly can. Do you get me? Like, so I think, I'm with yeah. you. I think by May they're going to sort of slowly roll out non-essential shops and then, you know, it's going to be a gradual process schools for up to a, in certain areas. I think London will probably be the last, but maybe agree, in rural yeah. areas they'll, you know, uh, roll out schools and you know try and get some semblance of you know easing it up but i hope after all of this there'll be some sort of acknowledgement of more reality in terms of like we would be talking about social media we've been talking about all of these things but at the core of it it's people don't love to and i may be unbiased but ultimately what's kept us through this is food and the arts do you get me <laughs> food right. and entertainment. Yeah, yeah. people that write shows people that create content people that yeah. you know create music, music. like yeah. that's all that's at, and you know creating creating whether that's creating they need to start seeing that yeah, you know, yeah yeah definitely and you know people and I guess architecture and construction people need to I think people need to realise what's real and a lot of these industries that we kind of thought were important like that disappeared overnight unfortunately you know like I think there should be a I hope there's a greater return and appreciation and that's matched in like from the healthcare funding the NHS for yeah, funding yeah. arts and so on and so forth. Because ultimately that's the only things that haven't shifted. Definitely, definitely. You know what I mean? So yeah. All right, yeah. So um until next time guys, um we definitely gotta do this next again. Time. Yeah. Stay healthy, stay safe. Yeah. Eat fruit and veg, man, stay strong. Keep them immune system strong. They don't wanna tell us that, but yeah. <laughs> Mm. we got to do that, man. So um, that was another episode of Chatting Salt bro, Fish. Bro. Um, you can find us on Twitter and Instagram, ironically, with the social media thing. And um, and on you can listen to us on SoundCloud, iTunes, and YouTube. It's Chatting Salt Fish everywhere. Until next time, peace.